and they all just gaze at me every move I make Got them talking crazy, living life on top, yeah, on this damn city Fucking unstoppable Hello, uh, welcome. This is uh, Drew's Tools uh, Mutated Mod Manager tutorial. I'm just going to go over the music managers. Um, I'm going to do a pretty quick run through it. I'm having some trouble with my recorder. It keeps crashing halfway through my recording. So I'm going to do a pretty quick pace one, but I'm going to try and cover everything. All right, so let's just get straight into it. So what you want to do, if you're just learning this, new, new to the process, I highly suggest creating a dedicated folder for this creating a music folder with let's say albums instead of music folder uh, album one album two holding your music that you want in each album let's say it's a full album and you're going to create a playlist to keep them together you would want to put them in separate folders to make it easier to select which ones you want to use so once you once you've got that set up and you've got your music set up you want to create an output folder as well get your output folder so this is where everything's going to go and then once you've done that we'll get started so <clears throat> we'll go down to uh, the mutated mod manager, open that up. Now don't stress, this does happen on your first load up. I only just repack this so it's shown up as a new program as you will see. It's perfectly safe. Alrighty, so this is the mod selection manager or window. Um, from here, you'll be able to select the mods you want to work with. You only got the three mods at the moment. That's uh, Foxy Radio, uh, <coughs> Radio Fungi, or Fungi Radio, and Redacted Audio Grenades. So with these, I'm just going to go with the Foxy Radio for this. It was basically the same for all three, with some slight differences amongst them. Between Fungi and Foxy, there is basically no difference at all, except for a few behind the scenes features um so we'll hit up um foxy and um you can pick your language your language at that point uh, your language selection window um i'm going to go with english for this one I've got a few languages i am planning on adding a lot more just it's a hard process and takes time all right so this isn't out of date this is actually my most up-to-date uh version it's just that i haven't updated it to the database yet so it's thinking it's the wrong version I have updated the transparency, so now it won't tra make the whole window transparent anymore. You can actually see some of the ba nice background now. Um, so we, once you come into this, if you do not have a, a pathway that is detected by the program already, it will prompt you with a window that should pop up around here somewhere that will ask you to uh, select, locate and select the Daisy Tools directory. And for that, you will just have to find your Steam folder, your Steam apps, common, and then your Daisy tools and select that folder. Once you've selected that folder, then you'll be able to go down and select your music, where your MP3 files are, the folder that is holding them. So in our instance, I had them in the music folder one. Or music, music folder one. So I've selected that and automatically will start playing some of the music. This is how you can test it out, make sure it's the right music. Probably shouldn't turn it up too loud while I'm trying to do this. Uh, you can go through the music then, make sure that's all the correct ones, make sure it's working right. Close that up, don't want no sound through this. Um, so then we can go to um, the destination folder directory. This is where it's gonna be put. So the output folder that I mentioned before, gonna select that. All right, so down here, this looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. It's very simple. For mine, I'm going to call it Mutated uh, Music Pack. And I'm going to copy that. Paste, paste, paste. Really, that's all you need to do, and it'll work fine. If you wanted to, you can make them differently. If you want it, it really doesn't matter. It won't make any difference. Just make sure you don't put any spaces. Make sure it's all English, A to Z, 0 to 9. Um, no special characters, and you'll be fine. Uh, keep in mind, this one is your server mod folder what it's going to look like at the end 
so um, you might uh, like this is how it's going to look but when it's not going to be added I mean we won't need to add it it'll be added automatically by the program um, this one here is your um, workshop name so this one can have spaces in it and it can look a bit nicer as it's it's different um, then once you have that set up once you have your music lined up you got your um, configuration settings done go down to song configuration <clears throat> here we can go to add song and I'm gonna put in a single song here real quickly so we'll get uh, what's a, uh, king of the game so we go put a tag in so it's easy to find king of the game and actually I want to make that king of the game Dirkasan oh. just put in artist and we can copy that put that down into description and then you can put in like the the list of songs that are in the album list of songs oh wait no this is just a single song uh, put some more information about the song if you want or the artist whatever you want to put in there um, with the uh, sound set, it will select that automatically for you when you select a song. Though we are, if you wanted to, you can change it to whatever you want. It's really just background noise. It, it doesn't really matter what that is, really. I've just set it up so you can have a bit more freedom and understand how it works in the background. Um, at this point, you can then go down to your texture. You want to go down to your cassette. I'll pick a texture, whichever texture you want. I'm going to be using just the default one for this one which is just a straight black it's just a normal black cassette tape um and then once you got all that set up go save now i want to go create a playlist straight away after that now that that's created we got a single song got the display name description sound set sound shader what media type it is it's a cassette it's got a, a texture it is not a playlist and it that's where it's coming from it's pathway so now we want to add another one another song we want to go down to create playlist here we want to go um, for example mm underscore album uh, one and then we want to put in a display uh, my album um, one artist um, yep and then on the description here you can put in the list of songs that are in the list of songs in album um, and then we can go down to here and we can select all the songs we want now I've already selected king of king of the game for the other one so I'm gonna unselect that one I'm gonna add them to um, the ready playlist so once you got all of them in there ready you got them filled out you're ready to go you can then select the texture I am gonna select the texture for this one I'm gonna make it number three uh, I'm gonna save playlist and now we got a playlist and we got a single song now I want to take this to another level, I want to go up and I want to select the music folder 2 that I had ready. So I go back to the music folder 2, I select that, and now I have the second folder ready to go. I don't need to change anything else, I just go back down to add song. And I want to create another playlist. Now I want to call this album 2. So album 2, whoops, 2. Uh, we want to go uh, my album to artist and uh, list of songs in the album. All right, uh, and then we want to select all the songs in here. Click, drag down, you select everything in there. Go to add selected sound shaders. Boom, ready to go. Got all that filled in. We got the songs where they need to be in the playlist configuration. Then we go down to this. Uh, we want to select another texture. Now I'll make that number six, and we'll save as playlist. Save playlist. Then, then that is all ready to go. At this point in time, unless I want to add more to it, uh, which I don't, I'm going to go straight down. Well, oh, before I continue, our support panel as well. I highly always, as always, recommend support us. Um, and then we go down to create. And we could uh, a warning message now this warning message is just to advise you that we don't support uh, the use of copyright material as um, we, we don't want anything backfiring on us that's why we do not um, release copyright materials anymore so that's on you if you decide to do that 
nothing to do with us. Um, we, and then we get to the point of, would you like to pack it into a PBO and sign it? So you can continue without packing, which would just put it into a folder. If you know how to mod and stuff, then you can pack it yourself into a PBO and sign it and whatnot. If you are new to um, modding, then you can just go continue with pack. Now this would do it pretty much automatically for you. If you have a key already, you can select your existing key and use the, your existing key. For example, I've got my existing key here. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to create a new one for this example. Um, I'm going to go down to create new. I'm going to put, you can put in anything in here as long as it's English. Um, no special characters, A to Z, no spaces, zero to nine. So I'm going to go uh, mutated testing key. I'm going to put an underscore there. All right, then I want to go OK. And now it's ready to go. It's it's now processing. Now, this process does take a little bit, so I'll be back with you in, in a moment. <coughs> okay, I just stopped the recording and started it back up again, just to prevent it crashing on me again. Didn't miss anything, it just did a quick conversion. Just converted all the music. I can actually show you what it went through. Just went through and converted this music through here. You can actually watch the process by opening up your console if you wanted to, but it will show up on the process, progress bar. It will show everything for you. And then once that's done, that's done. That's all ready to go. You can then go to your folder. Now, uh, one moment. That's the part one of the recording. Um, Alright, so we can go to, here we go, alrighty, so from here we got our output folder, this is what it has created, got a types file, types file. ready to go, um, then we got uh, your source folder, so you can actually go through everything, see how it's done. See the media files, you can see the textures, and you can see the configs. Um, then you got your keys that you created, backed up, ready to go. You can reuse them now whenever you want. And then you got your packed mod, which with your key, your signed PBO, and your signed key. Now that is all ready to go, you literally just Drag this into your server and you're ready to go. And I can, yeah. All right. That that's really covers it. If you need any more information, just create a support ticket. I'm happy to help you out with anything else you need. All righty. Uh, thank you very much. Men, they all just gaze at me every move I make. Got them talking crazy, living life on top. Yeah, on this damn city, fucking unstoppable.